great event for him in this one. The 2115 night complex is underway. The athletes with 155 pounds on that barbell open with eight deadlifts. They move on to seven power cleans and then six snatches at the top of your screen. The movement the leader is currently on will have a blue box around it. The names of the participants will be underneath that. The leader will be highlighted in blue. The time to beat is four minutes, 41.97 seconds. That belongs to Travis May. Now you think 155 pounds for these guys is not very heavy at all, especially with those deadlifts, but it's the way that it's being worked here. An easy move for 155 pounds, and we increase the difficulty, and then we end up in even more difficulty with the snap with the 155. Again, 155 is not difficult for these athletes, but it's how that 21-15-9 works so magically devious. Dan Bailey will be the first man moving on to the pull-up bar. Rich Froning is there as well in lane number seven, and in lane six, Kyle Kasperbauer. Ben Smith is also on the pull-up bar, and Ben Smith is currently in the lead, but just barely as some of our top athletes are battling out for the lead in this third of four heats here. It's event number six here at the 2014 Reebok CrossFit Games, the 21-15-9 complex. Now we're gonna see the majority of these, of these athletes breaking up the pull-up movement, whether it's the pull-up into the chest of bar and into that bar muscle up. That's a smart move because if you blow out here in the set of 21, you aren't, you're just gonna be absolutely spent for your 15 to nine when you really need to turn on the gas. So they need to be smart, they need to be very strategic about how they wanna go through, come down when they want to, rather than when they need to. The crowd coming to its feet as a three-time defending champion, Rich Froding, moves to the barbell for the 15 complex ahead of the men that are chasing him. Dan Bailey, Kyle Kasterbauer, and Kenneth Leverage all trying to chase down the champ right now, who is amongst the men fighting for the lead here, and Froning needs a big performance in this event. And classically, you don't see Rich jump out to the front, but after the, the devastating day that he's had today, he has to. We saw him very frustrated throughout the day, shaking his head multiple times. You can see he's actually attacking this workout, and that's something that we are used to seeing. He's so strong, he's such a pacing master, he doesn't need to do that, but now he's attacking. He needs to prove to himself and everyone else that he is the champ. All the athletes listed at the top of your screen are battling it out for that top spot. Dan Bailey currently has a couple rep lead over Kenneth Leverage, Kyle Kasterbauer. Rookie Cole Sager out of the Northwest is there as well. And as is Rob Forte out of Australia. Dan Bailey moving to the pull-up bar as is Rich Froning. Froning getting to work on his pull-ups. This is the set of 15 total reps on that pull-up bar. It starts with pull-ups. You just have to get your chin above that bar, any means necessary. And then on the chest of bar, pretty simple, touch your chest to the bar. And I think that he's being, I mean, all these athletes are being real smart. They know that all weekend the athletes have been tearing their hands on this bar, so they want to make sure that they aren't sitting on the bar too long, trying to rest as much on that grip as they can. Again, coming down when they want to rather than when they need to. Rich Froning is the first man onto the final set of barbell movements. He'll perform nine total movements. The time to beat 441.97 belongs to Travis Mayer. And Rich Froning is assaulting that mark right now. This is the first time I've never seen Rich look around to see where the other athletes are. He's going into this, I mean, with true reckless abandon that we haven't seen him do before. He's not stopping or breaking or resting. He is attacking this workout. Froning is ahead of Kenneth Leverage. The scoreboard is behind Froning, as is the rest of the field. And Froning is back up to the pull-up bar. Nine total movements for the three-time defending champion. 100 points goes to the winner of this event, and those are 100 huge points for Rich Froning. That's exactly what he needs. That's exactly what he needs. Froning on the bar muscle-ups. One more to go. Dan Bailey and Kenneth Leverage battling for second. And the champ is back. Rich Froning demolishing the time to be 416.63. Wow, he really needed that. You can see there was actually a, a, a look of relief when he came across the finish line, actually being able to uh, really blow out the workout instead of just barely make it through the workout. Dan Bailey and Kenneth Leverage now battling it out. Leverage in the middle of your screen. Still a lot of valuable points out there. Travis Mayer will have the second best mark. Kenneth Leverage will finish second in his heat. And now it's Dan Bailey across the finish line. And that was a great showing by Kenny Leverage. He actually did two or three extra reps because he was getting no reps on those, but strong work all the way through that.
that entire event. Lucas Holberg is in. Dan Bailey is in along with Rich Froning, your winner of this heat. Now Rob Forte has finished. Kyle Kasselbauer is out there still working. Neil Maddox still working. Ben Smith in the red shirt. He's still working. Neil Maddox coming across the finish line. Maddox won the two prior events that took place in the soccer stadium and racked up 100 points in the process. I'm just shocked on Ben Smith on how much, how far, how far he back he really is. I'm actually kind of shell shocked on it. Ben Smith finally got himself across the finish line. In lane number one, Will Morad out of the Central East region is finished. And now it's rookie Cole Sager and rookie Yonakoski still on the floor. Sager thought he was done. He took off Yonakoski with one bar muscle left to go, as does Cole Sager. They're competing against everybody else in the field, not just this heat. So Sager will finish. There's a seven minute time cap well inside of that. Good result for the rookie and the former University of Washington football player. Now Yonakoski out of Europe, the only man left on the floor. And you can see the bars are starting to do some damage to these athletes' hands. And he and uh, he just uh, Yoni is just having that rough time with those hands. He's actually trying to put the chalk on, trying to cover up as much of that blood as he can. You can see him looking down all the time to his hands to see what's happening. And those of you who may be new to CrossFit, this is a very unique element of the sport. The man who finishes last often gets cheered louder than the man who finishes first. And the world's fittest cheerleading crew is over there encouraging Yonikoski. And right there, Neil Maddox actually just gave Yoni a glove to help that out. When are you going to see that anywhere else? I'm in competition with you, and I'm going to help you get through this because I want you to get through this. Ten seconds to go, and Koski oh, makes it, and he will get over to the finish line. And listen to this crowd applaud the effort from the 19-year-old from Pori, Finland.